Abraham was alive and Noah was an alcoholic. Job doubted God several times. Samson was promiscuous. David was a whoremonger and a murderer. Elijah was suicidal. Peter was embarrassed to let folks know he knew Jesus. Rahab was a prostitute. The disciples were often weak, jealous of each other, and even fell asleep on Jesus the night he was arrested. The Samaritan woman couldn't keep her husband, and Moses had anxiety. So what's so bad that you've done that God can't use you? This is a classic religious trap the enemy has used for a long time to deceive believers into disconnecting from God. Paul spent much of Romans chapter 8 explaining that nothing could ever separate you from God's love. The word nothing still means nothing. So it's essential to establish this truth in your heart that nothing can ever separate you from God's love. This is why performance-based religion is so devious and deceptive. It confuses your emotions to think God doesn't love you because you were disobedient. It's funny that God didn't love us in the first place because of our obedience to him. In fact, Paul tells us God commended his love towards us while we were still sinners. Romans 5. Check out my YouTube channel or follow me on Facebook for more content. Remember to like, follow, subscribe, and share as we rebuild the city. Let's share.